YouTube, what's going on? Flag1122, back again. Got a special surprise for you guys and gals of the pipe smoking community today. Very exciting. I'm here at my local tobacconist, uh, Romeo's Uptown Pipes and Cigar, here in Bentonville, Arkansas. I'm smoking a cigar, which is something I don't do very often. Very, very tasty. Um, anyway, I thought I would just uh, show you guys and gals around the store and uh, let you take a look at it. I know people like to show their local tobacco shops off, and I'm really proud of this one. It's a great one. And we're going to talk to the proprietor, Mr. Uh, Frank Romeo, and he's got a great little shop here. He's going to be right over here. I'm going to turn the camera around. There's the man right there, the owner, the man, the man of the hour, the proprietor. How's it going, Frank? Going very good. Yeah, yeah. How about you? Oh, I'm fabulous as always. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about your shop. Uh, you know, let's just do a little tour, a little walk okay. around. Uh, how long have you been here in Bentonville, Arkansas? First, throw out the address. Let's 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 tell them where this is. The uh, location is 220 North Walton Boulevard. Okay. In Bentonville, Arkansas. Bentonville, Arkansas, uh, the home of Walmart. About a quarter of a mile from the home, from the Walmart home office. Yeah. So if you're in Bentonville, Arkansas, you're here to shop. You know, you're here to check out Walmart. Uh, you can stop by Frank Shop. Uh, it's a brilliant place. So let's just, you know, take them around and show, show them what you got. Uh, back behind Frank, you can see all the uh, bulk pipe tobaccos, and he has a really, really nice selection of them. Uh, what are you, uh, what's your specialty as far as bulk goes here, Frank? What do you carry, you know? Uh, I carry a pretty full line of uh, Newminster, which is a, a newer one to the market, uh, St. Peter Stokeby, uh, and um, the, some of the McClellan brand mm -hmm. in bulk. Cornell and Deal, one of my favorite bulks to carry. Uh, uh, there's lots of good stuff going on there in the non-aromatics and aromatics. Yeah. Uh, and the Tobacco Galleria from Al from Altidus. Oh, okay. And, of course, just about all the, the, the range of Lane also. Okay. Yeah. Kind of, kind of some like Lane, you kind of named them some house blend names there, kind of specific names for this shop, right? Mm-hmm. So you got Ship's Wheel there, you can see. And uh, it's really exciting to have the Cornell and Deal. Pipe tobaccos, you know, they're 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 favorites of a lot of people. Yeah, you know. it's just a good top yeah, quality yeah. Uh, pipe tobacco, and I'm glad they make it available yeah. in uh, in bulk, so I can jar it up and, uh, and put it out by the ounce. Yeah, and I see that you've got a couple of the Dunhill bulks here too. Yeah. That's very exciting. Dunhill just recently made some of their avail uh, of pipe tobaccos available in bulk so far. The early morning pipe and the mixture 965 my mixture. Yeah, yeah, all f old favorites of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, their early morning pipe is just brilliant, and. Uh, over here, you've got uh, some of your tin tobaccos. Uh, you've got some nice stuff over here. Uh, you've got a lot of those uh, Sam Goway tobaccos, and uh, you've got some Aaron Moore Flake there. And uh, are you going to expand uh, the the tin tobacco selection eventually? Always looking at yeah. expanding that. Yeah. It depends on uh, on what's available from from where. Sometimes it's sometimes the stuff just hard to find. Yeah. And when I do uh, put my hands on it, I go ahead and put it in. Right on. Would you say that most of the people that come in here uh, buy the bulk tobaccos or the tin tobaccos? Oh, the bulk tobaccos are definitely right, the, right. Uh, the popular choice, which is yeah. why I like here such a, a wide range of that. Well, it's nice because you can buy it by the ounce, you know, you don't have to, you know, invest a lot in it, you know. It's a little bit more reasonably priced, too, right? You yeah, know, the bulk in, in tobaccos. Cases, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, right on. And behind you, I see you've got. Uh, You've got two humidors in this fine shop of yours, and this is the smaller of the two. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll just go ahead and run in here and just take a quick peek here. Uh, what are your what brands do you specialize here as far as uh, the gars go? Uh, a, a very wide range. Uh, the Altidus uh, lineup, Romeo and Julieta, mm -hmm. uh, Saint Louis Ray. Um, What else is there? Uh, the, that's a new one, Revolution. Yeah. From Tiano. Okay. And uh, Paradox, from uh, the good people that. Uh, t uh we got this Saint. What? Who is this? Saint Louis Ray. Saint, uh, yeah, Saint Louis Ray. Or okay. Saint Louis Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on. Well, that's a nice little humidor. And uh, you don't, uh, is this the smaller humidor? Is just not necessarily the higher end stuff? It's just a expansion that you have? Not really. We, uh, yeah. when, uh, the, the larger humidor across the hall, okay. uh, at one point I got that filled up and decided I wasn't done yet. Okay. So we built this. Not everything has landed exactly where it's going to land yet, but my father line is in here. Yeah. Uh, so that's probably a higher end there. Right. But uh, I don't, I don't uh, expect to see this humidor as a higher end humidor. I think uh, I like to make them both. Uh, uh, equal opportunity. Oh, right with, on. Uh, maybe some more uh, of uh, 
of the uh, boutique blends maybe on this side, but not okay. necessarily higher end. You know, I want everybody to feel this comfortable <laughs> in this one as, as, okay. as the other. Okay. And you got your little uh, cigarellos right here, mm -hmm. you know, it's pretty nice. Cigars, nice little cigarette. selection there. Uh, and then you've got your larger humidor over here, and this is your your big boy, right? And I've been in here several times, and you do have a really nice selection in here. Uh, would you say, you know, this is a this this area? You know, we've got Walmart here. You got a lot of businessmen. You know, you would you say that this area is a heavy uh, cigar smoking area as opposed to pipe smoking? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. There's yeah. Uh, definitely more cigar business going on here than pipe, but. Uh, I like to consider myself primarily primarily a pipe smoker, right? Uh, so I like to keep the, the selection of pipe tobacco yeah, yeah. as wide as possible. Yeah, and I and I appreciate that because I am primarily a pipe smoker. But yeah, I'm just gonna you know zoom around here and see what we can find. You've got like, like I said before, you got a great selection here. Uh, you've got you know cigars from the high end to, to, to the you know the mid the mid level on the prices, mm -hmm. and you got a lot of nice little specials right here too, some sale stuff. Uh, what would you uh, recommend for uh, just you know nice middle of the road, decent priced cigar? You know for for somebody who's not really a, a cigar smoker. You can never go wrong with Romeo and Julieta. It's one of the best known brands out there. Um, the the price point is right there in the middle someplace. One of the uh, most famous brand names on earth, of course, is uh, Monte Cristo, and Monte Cristo makes a lot of great cigars. Some of those are a little bit higher priced though. But uh, but they're made from some rare tobaccos, oh. stuff that's a little bit harder to find, right on. and it can justify the price point uh, on that. Uh, I carry the Casa Magna line also, probably one of my best-selling cigars. Uh, sometimes they're kind of hard to get a hold of right now. That space right there needs to be filled. That's probably my second best-selling cigar in the whole place. Hmm. My best-selling cigar is up here. It's one from Drew Estate. Okay. It's called Liga Underground. Oh, okay. Well, then some good suggestions right there. Well, let's go out here and uh, let's take a look at some of your pipes. That's where I get really excited. Uh, I see right here you've got a nice little selection of uh, cobs. You just got those in not too long ago. It's nice for summertime. People, person can buy you know corn cob, corn cob pipe and not invest a lot and see if they like you know pipe smoking. And you got the big, uh, is this the MacArthur or the freehand? That's it. It's called the freehand. Okay, the freehand. Yeah, I don't have any of the MacArthur. Yeah. And then, oh, here's uh, the bulk of your pipes. You've got, uh, this is your big uh, kind of display right here, and you've got some uh, Meerschaum pipes I see there, and some uh, Spaniolos, and I know that uh, people who are familiar with my videos, I feature that Spaniolos pipe that I have, and it's a wonderful pipe. You've got the Paul's Cayuga. Available at two places on earth. Yeah. And this shop and a, uh, a shop in Flint, Michigan, called oh. Paul's Pipe Shop. Okay, right on. So you're kind of an exclusive for that, aren't you? Mm. And here's your artisan pipes right here. You've got, I know that you've got Creative Briar right here, and, and there's some beauties right there. And uh, some other pipes from a local pipe carver by the name of Gary Lowe, what, the one I'm smoking right now. This is a, uh, uh, GLO, as he calls his company. Okay. Other pipes from Gary Lowe are these two right here, these two right here. Uh, I just recently picked up uh, some pipes I'm, I met from a pipe carver at the St. Louis Pipe Show, Matt Roussel. Those mm. are both Roussel pipes. Man, look at the grain on those pipes right there. That's just gorgeous. I especially like this guy right here. Or that one probably will become mine. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't sell. I don't blame you. It doesn't sell soon. I don't blame you. It's, uh, man, that's one thing about uh, owning your own uh, pipe tobacco shop. It's just goodies all over the place, <laughs> right? Yeah. It can be irresistible at times. Hell yeah. Uh, and I see you've got some nice lighters down here. And that's really, really cool. Uh, then you've got some more of your, you know, some reasonably uh, reasonably priced pipes right here. Uh, some really good little smokers there. If, you know, if you don't want to invest too much money. I, I, I especially, I've looked at this, uh, this kind of paneled billiard several times myself. From Design Berlin. From Design Berlin. And that's a classic, classic manufacturing company right there. Uh, but yeah, Frank, just a, just a wonderful store you have here, man. And he's got the, uh, the smoking lounge right here off to the side and it's just known nice. as uh, the chamber of wisdom the chamber of wisdom huh home of, of, uh, of yeah. world saving conversation Ooh, and i bet you have a lot of them here too you, you well, guys save the world a number of times yeah putting your heads together uh working for the good of all mankind right mm, exactly yeah, right on uh, and you got the tv here too if you want to check out the game which is cool um you do have uh pipe clubs right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the ozark pipe smokers uh, we meet uh, sometimes twice a month. The actual meeting is on 
the second Thursday of the month. And then if there's a fifth Thursday during the month, boy, by golly, that's a cause for celebration and we'll meet then also. Heck yeah. Well, it sounds, sounds really great, Frank. Sounds really great. Well, uh, let's throw out the uh, address of the shop one more time. It's Romeo's Uptown Pipes and Cigars, 220 North Walton Boulevard, Benville, Arkansas. Go check him out. Uh, Frank's a stand-up. He's a stellar guy. Uh, it's a, just a great shop. Uh, you come here, and if you're not... If you're not super knowledgeable about pipe smoking or about getting into cigars, then uh, Frank is going to help you out. Uh, he's uh, been around for a long time. He's a very knowledgeable cat. Uh, mm. Well, guys and gals of the pipe smoking community, I'm going to get back to enjoying my cigar. Uh, it's a great day for a cigar here in Northwest Arkansas. So again, if you're in the Bentonville area, come by Romeo's Uptown Pipes and Tobacco. Check them out. Cheers to them.